Hey guys, welcome back to the Future Kuwait channel on YouTube. I'm Barry Rodriguez, filling in for my friend Mohamed Blushi, and today we're going to be taking a close look at the newly launched HTC 10. Let's start with the front. The device sports a 5.2 inch display, which makes the handset reasonably easy to handle with one hand. One of the biggest differences is that when looking at the bottom bezel, you will notice that one of the front speakers is gone. There are now capacitive buttons on the bottom part of the front as well as a home button that doubles up as a fingerprint sensor. The second speaker has simply been moved to the bottom of the phone and it's placed right next to the USB type C port and it's set to function more like a subwoofer. 2.5D glass covers the Super LCD 5 display which comes in at QHD resolution. So far we can tell you that the colors look pretty good on the screen and inside we'll find a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 processor a mammoth 4GB of RAM and also a micro SD card slot for all you image and movie hoarders out there. The HTC 10 carries a 3000 mAh battery which is currently the standard for handsets with a good capacity. We can speculate that it will last a full day but don't take our word for it just yet. HTC however does state that about 30 minutes of quick charging will get you up to a full day of battery. HTC is known for its media consumption capabilities which means audio couldn't have been left out of the equation. This phone carries a digital analog converter and a headphone amp, which means it should be able to provide one of the best audio experiences out there with its high-res audio. The HTC 10 boasts one of the best cameras available in the market today, with both the front and the rear cameras having optical image stabilization. This time round, the Ultra Pixel camera returns with a 12 megapixel sensor that should let in more light than traditional phone cameras, thanks to the 1.55 micropixel size. Laser autofocus and optical image stabilization are also included. The HTC 10 also enjoys 4K video recording as well as high-res audio recording. It boasts a 5 megapixel and a 1.8 aperture lens with a slightly wider field of view for better selfies. But what we really love about this ca front-facing camera is that it actually has optical image stabilization in the front. This is not something that we see in smartphone front cameras. We do see HTC Sense returning here with the regular home screens. Of course, Blinkfeed is also still around. HTC has made it a point to work closely with Google. There may be now just one application. For example, the HTC 10 comes pre-loaded with Google Photos as opposed to having its own gallery app. We can find other software additions like Boost Plus, which is a memory and battery manager, and an enhanced theming engine. And that concludes our review of the HTC 10, which is available across all future stores and in other stores in Kuwait. Let us know if you like our video by leaving your comments down below, liking us, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. See you again in our next video.